Saturday, probably the last day I'll have in the shop for about a month since I'll be in Tennessee. Looks like parts arrived from DFD. Shop's a little blown up. Bill's been working on this bass drum front of a tree stump cookie. He's been working on these hoops for the Hellcats. Got an Eames drum in for a little bit of sprucing up. I'm not sure why the old Rogers kicks there. Today my goal is to get as far as I can on these brocades and I made myself a little pattern with Plexi. This is the size that I want to wrap this with. Gives me excess on the top and the bottom trim. But it also lays out where the lugs land, where the open panels are, so I can place this on the fabric exactly where I want it, so I can get the nice design feature within the open panels. We'll see how it works out. It is miserable in here. 92 degrees outside. It's like an easy bake oven in here. Kinda sucks. I was here Tuesday late afternoon taping up these drums. I did get a little bit of footage, so we have the technology, we can play that. We'll just play that right here, and I'll catch back up with you afterwards. Doing two at a time at a rate of, I don't know, five to seven minutes. Not horrible. Oh, buddy. That's a, I didn't know we had that big resaw blade. It's even got some nice patina. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we're back. I took way too long laying out the first one, obsessing over the pattern placement, getting my process down, how I'm gonna wrap them, keep things from getting distorted, how to deal with the overlap. I'm gonna keep cranking on wrapping. Have at least 11 or 12 different patterns, so we'll have probably four to five duplicates. We'll see which ones we like best, and then I'll go back. Bill's still working on this. Apparently he had to stabilize it during the week with resin and he wanted to tint the resin so we used leather dye and the leather dye made the resin angry bubbly smoky type angry so missed that excitement Now we can see, so over the ragged edge, 
I did double-sided tape. I've peeled this part back, kind of fold it on itself. So basically hiding the ragged edge, like a hem or wrapping Christmas presents. Okay, now take this part off. So this is sticky. And that's gonna be my seam. It does put three layers there instead of two. But I can press it down with a roller and then we get the mechanical advantage of the strainer holding down that seam and hiding it. Now for the wrapping process, I know where to start. Right inside the butt plate holes or the strainer holes. Peel enough back to get my leading edge. And I tried rolling it over here, didn't work out for me. So I take her to the table. Table. I should probably fire the first shot. Yeah. Like I know that this makes me look like an extra on the set of Sons of Anarchy, but it's hot in here. I was thinking, um... not even, It'd be a spin-off of Sons of Anarchy, not even the, the mother show. My first thought was uh, when in the office Michael Scott tries to pretend that he's been to prison and he calls himself Prison Mike with a bandana on his head. Prison Mike? Prison Mike. That's pretty funny. I never watched that show. It's a good show. Um, but yes, you look like uh, the guy at the biker bar most likely to get his ass kicked. Yeah. Like the guy that's gonna die first in any Steven Seagal movie. Absolutely. Of course, I've got a wallet chain, so I'm not here to criticize anybody for looking like uh, an extra in a crappy 90s action movie. It's unique. Yep. <laughs> this has been a bizarre project. But uh, I think it's gonna work. Oof. What a pain in the butt. Huh? Oh yeah. Transferring up all the holes. Yeah, I'm, I'm still a little on the fence about how I'm gonna do it. I think that, I think that I'm gonna, and I can measure how far off the surface, and it's a pretty tight fit right now. So I have an easy, like, like the reference surfaces are really clear, which is good. And I can measure how high off the, off of this I need to be. But I really, really, really want to get the alignment right. Is the inside of this already hogged out? Um, by for about like maybe half or five eighths of an inch. Oh, so a, a, a so, trench. A circumferential trench. Oh, no, you did. Yeah. Just not. So it's not all the way down, but it's like enough that I can get it on here and yeah. start to get a sense of, you know, where are the, where are the lugs or the, the holes for tension rounds going to be. Now that you, now that I just made you lose your reference, that's fucking yeah, amazing. it's all right. Damn it.
Doesn't feel like I got a lot done, but we did get all the brocades wrapped. Taste the rainbow. Didn't get them trimmed or burnt. Most of the parts are in. Bill made a mess with his cookie over there and worked on these flush mount hoop guards for the Hellcats. Yeah, I think those are gonna be pretty cool. I hope, I think, I hope. So if I can get over here one more day, I can put more time in, but it, that'd be a long shot. So probably see those buddies in September.